morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to each and everyone. So um, today I will be reporting the uh, the learner centered lesson plan or the parts of the detailed lesson plan. Before I'm going to start this uh, reporting or this lesson. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Vicente Kisay Jr., your BS Ed English 2 at Norso Chaton Campus Section B. Okay, so what are the parts of the lesson plan? What what shall we put in our lesson lesson plan? And what are the things you need to remember in creating a lesson plan? So I will be presenting to you the the parts and its uh, usage uh, of these parts of the lesson plan. So. Again, so what what are the parts or the five parts of the lesson the lesson plan? Okay, so first is the objective, of course. You need to put the objective. Next, number two is the subject or the subject matter. And then the third one is procedure. And then fourth one is assessment. And of course, we have the assignment. So let us tackle this one by one. Let us first focus to uh, our objective. So what is objective and what is the use of objective in creating a lesson plan? So by the way, objective is this is usually uh, located at the beginning of the plan created by a teacher, which unveils the goals of the lesson. That at the end of the lesson, students will be able to know what uh, all students will know and be able to do after they've learned, uh, they've learned what we intend for them to learn. Okay, so I gather some informations and examples in the internet and also to ask my teacher uh, friends uh, to help me with this um, lesson plan or the detailed lesson plan. So. Here is the examples of an objective where you can put your um, in your lesson plan. So as you can see, the detailed lesson plan on elements of plot of Romeo and Juliet. So this is prepared by Sean Nicole Halanduni and Ivor Dugo. And then the objective here is uh, at the end of the for, uh, 45 uh, minutes lesson, the students shall be able to to, to know the plot line of the story Romeo and Juliet. And then they will also know what's the plot, like the specific and the cognitive. Uh, and also, you can also put in the objective, uh, the uh, outcome of the students will create a paragraph summarizing the plot of Romeo and Juliet. Okay. I also made <clears throat> some another reference coming from uh, Winsy Kilantang. This is from, I think, um, if I am not mistaken, this was taken or given by me with one of the students of uh, Siliman University. So, as you can see, uh, there are lots of things that you can consider in creating a lesson plan. <clears throat> you can also put some, excuse me, uh, you can also put some, uh, the name of the teacher, the grade level, which is, this is really basic or this is really the standard procedure. Okay, so... Uh, in his objective or in her objective, you can also see the uh, possible uh, outcome of the students while he is or he or she is <clears throat> making the teaching. Okay. Number two is the subject or the subject matter. Okay, what is subject matter? Okay, the subject matter is uh, or includes the specific topic and how that relates back to the national curriculum. It should be include the source of information or reference, okay? So you can also use those tools and pictures and everything which uh, you are going to use in your discussion. Okay, so here's the example of subject matter or the subject. So he put some uh, reference where he get the lesson uh, learning from the internet, which is, as you can see, in the uh, in this slide, there are also the materials that he or she is using while <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, he or she is discussing. So um, let me show you those. Uh, this now a third one, the third one. Okay, so procedure or ang pagkasunod sunod ng mga gawain. So uh, it makes up the body of the plan and it is an explanation how the lesson progress step by step. Okay, so 
I, I think I really think that they they call this one as a a um detailed lesson plan because you're going to do it uh by detail detailed by detailed okay so in your <clears throat> under the uh procedure uh learning activities this is where the teachers and students interactions happens for the preliminary activities or what we call a, a warm up okay just like this one uh warm up is a lesson activity that helps get students in learning frame of mind it could be energizing activities or some recap from your previ previous lesson this is also for us teachers to get the attentions of the students and and they will know that your subject is a fun a fun subject they will try to love the subject when the subject teacher is lively when they are discussing or they are more engaging okay so uh, uh in lesson proper of course this is the lesson proper where where you can see they or where you can discuss your lesson uh all the lesson or the the possible topics or the possible um references that you can give to them this is where the main discussion begins it includes the the following presentation is really a must why because this is the the way or this the way the students that can create or that can engage to your discussion and they will not feel get bored when you are discussing it can be uh pictures video or etc the next is the motivation which is a motivational coach to catch the interest of the students yes this is very important this is for you to become a more effective uh, teacher or a, facilita a facilitator in the future. And then the, the discussion. Discuss the related topics. You can get some examples from your own lives to, to, to be more engaging. And then, of course, you can also ask students from their... Um, from their what they call this experiences for them to uh more be uh, or they can be more engaged with the topic that you are going to discuss okay so here is the example of the procedure so the procedure is just like this one you have to put the teacher's activity and then the student's activity this is more on learner centered lesson plan because in the learner centered lesson plan it is more about on engaging a students or a students involvement process okay so first is the preliminaries just like this one you as you can see uh as usual as as we are student uh, or a, as a teacher the classroom discussion or the class subject will just uh, start or will start in a prayer so as you can see you can put here some let us pray everyone or you can also pick a student or call a student's attention to let them lead the prayer for them to be more um to, to boost their confidence in in facing the class okay so the next step is the, the review you can review uh five minutes you can uh, ask the question from the, your previous lesson okay class so um before we are going to uh officially start our lesson let us first discuss what we have discussed yesterday okay so you have to have your modulated voice and an energetic voice for you to catch their attention because if you catch their attention it is possibly that the students can really uh, engage or can really um, relate to the topic and then they will understand at the end of your lesson okay by the way i am using two uh two lesson plan which is this one and then this one or they call this as methodologies or still the uh, procedure okay so in your preliminary activities also you can also uh, call the student in the name of the father or in the son the holy spirit amen and then okay so it is really you have always to remember that in your very uh, in your in the starting of your discussion or in the starting your class you have to have a very energetic voice for you or for them to be energized or magnetized so diba kailangan natin yung maging mas maging um energetic teacher para ma uh, makatch natin ang kanilang attention okay so as you can see they uh, put those um possible uh 
reply of the students because this is the way on how you make a detailed lesson plan you have to put the uh, answers or uh, the feedback of the students okay next is uh this is just a continuation of the other slide so uh after the uh, prayer you can also put uh you can tell me about the pre previous lesson what did we tackle in the last meeting you can <clears throat> You can ask some students or you can, if they really don't um, engage to you or they will not respond to you, you can make any other things for you to catch their attention, okay? And then here is the motivational question or motivational um, assessment or quotes. You can use some quotes for, you, for them to be more engaged with your discussion. Next, okay, so class, you may now take your seats. And then you will you will be going to check the attendance, and then um, you're you're going to review. Okay, class, what was our topic last meeting? This is another the the the, the second um, example that I made or I get. And then the motivational the class will participate in activity titled uh, "Saves uh, Romeo Saves Juliet." Whoever fails to follow the mechanics will provide an answer which should be written on the board okay their task is to justify or support the given statement or to make a paragraph it only needs five students to do so sentence given it is being said that love is a fallacy okay so here is also an example of a motivational just like this one you can vote for me or you can you can uh, play a game which is related to your topic to be discussed, okay? And since we are done with the motivational or we still have this uh, motivational references and then you are going also to put the topic questions uh, then you have to discuss, you can raise or uh, throw some questions to your students for them to know or to uh, for them to learn or to get some um, informations that <clears throat> on the things that you are discussing okay so let me remind you guys that this is a two presentation or two um, example of a lesson plan which is the Romeo and Juliet and the, uh, the plot of Romeo and Juliet and this other one and then um, you can uh, discuss the to them the exposition since you are um, you are discussing about the uh, or you are making a, a lesson plan which is the room you, the plot of Romeo and Juliet then you can uh, um, emphasize to them the uh, the parts of those uh, the story the part of the story okay so here is the, some exposition the rising action and the climax remember guys that in discussing you have to create a uh, a thoughtful mind or you have to create a uh, very uh, good and engaging uh, activities for them to uh, for you to catch their attentions okay so um as you can also see in this uh, another example in in the discussion this maybe takes 30 uh 20 to 30 minutes no um in making a concept paper this is the other example that i uh, that i get okay so you can also um ask them about the um the plots and then um since you are discussing about the story of uh, Romeo and Jul Juliet you can also have this falling actions where you you need to put in your lesson plan so you all and then next you have to create a drills and activities where uh, you can measure uh, until where they are discussing or they learn from your discussion and the next is the, the assignment Okay, so in your in your assignment, you can create an assignment which the students can um, what do you what do you call this uh, advance reading about your topic for the next lesson. Okay, so I think I'm done, guys. So by the way, this is again this is Mr. Vicente Milan Kisay Jr. Your BS in English too. Okay, so by the way, these these are my sources of this discussion. Thank you, guys, and God bless.